You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping SmackDown Live from January 2nd. Yeah. Yeah. Not a very good episode. No. Not, I don't know. We have this dead time still between now and the Rumble. Mm-hmm. And now that we have two Royal Rumble matches, that's a lot of time that's eaten up from a pay-per-view. Well, yeah, because there's no secondary title right now. It's just that tournament that mm-hmm. they're, um, I guess, booking very slowly. Yeah. Uh, and then the women's feud itself is just a... Uh, just literally everyone fighting everyone else. Yeah, we pretty much have three stables. Yeah, and it's not it's not good. No. I but. mean, the only thing that has been a positive has been the tag team division on SmackDown. Yeah. And, well, it was something. Well, the, technically speaking, the main event picture is not the worst. It's, no. It's nuts, but it's not. I, we, we've, we've had to deal with worse. Oh, absolutely. Because, yeah, like, what's going on right now is definitely not as bad as when Jinder was the champion. But it's certainly not normal by any stretch. Nah. Um, anyway. Yep. So uh, the show starts off with uh, just, like, the video package recapping what happened last week in the main event with uh, uh, Shane a- basically costing AJ, uh, the, AJ match. the match. Yeah. Um, and then the show opens with AJ coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, he says that he plans on keeping the title until WrestleMania and defending it successfully. Yep, and he kind of wants to know why Shane did what he did last week. Yeah, so uh, at that point, Daniel Bryan comes out, and mm-hmm. then Shane comes out afterwards. Yep. Uh, AJ does not look like he's happy to see Shane. Yep. Um, and then Shane, for some reason, gets cheered, even though he's clearly the bad guy. Yeah, it's it's just such a weird angle. Yeah. So uh, Shane apologizes for what happened last week. <laughs> we don't know who to cheer for. We're just going to cheer for everybody. Yeah, pretty much. It, it, it's the <laughs> NXT crowd. They have no idea what to... They just cheer for everybody. It's true. Um, oh, yeah, and then Shane, I guess, kind of blames Dana O'Brien for everything that's mm-hmm. been going on and asks if he's siding with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, asking if he's turning his yes movement into the yep movement. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah. And then they... I guess Shane asked if he was going to bar uh, Kevin Owens from ringside during yeah. his match with uh, AJ versus Zane. And he said, no. Um, then Shane's like, well, then I'll be at ringside. Right. And then Daniel Bryan goes, well, I'll, I'll be, be at ringside. ringside too. Yep. And, you know, that was that was it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, very silly. Really yeah. Silly storyline going on here. Well... The end game for this whole storyline is still a long way out. So great, yeah, it's just gonna keep rolling downhill. Yep. Oh well, that's, that's what that. Yep. So uh, up next, we had the tag team title match between Benjamin and Gable and the Usos. Yes. Um. So what? Benjamin Gable won a match last week, right? In the they, triple threat. Yeah, they won the triple threat against last Rusev week. Day and the New Day. And the week before, they beat the the the, Us- the Usos. Yeah. yeah, they beat them very right. easily, mm-hmm. which was surprising. Yeah, but uh, this was a pretty quick match. Um, wow. Oh, well, the- I know, I know, I know. So Benjamin and Gable end up hitting their power bomb finisher. finisher? It's yeah, a tag, their tag team finisher. Yeah. On, um, uh, I guess Jay, Jay. Uso? Yeah. So they get the pin. New tag team champions. Everybody's cheering and excited and whatnot. And then another referee comes running down and says that, well, they bring footage up onto the Titantron. And apparently Jay was not the legal man. So we are forced to restart the match. Yeah. It's always so funny when they do stuff like this because sometimes so they like, don't. They'll acknowledge stuff, and then other times they will. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just so. They use the instant replay feature. Yeah. and But <laughs> not always. I know. Um, oh, anyway, so the match gets restarted, mm-hmm. and the Usos end up retaining after a double super kick yep. into a frog splash. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this was basically two matches that was the length of a regular match. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it technically was one match because it was restarted. It's not like it was a brand no, new match. No, I know, but you got two pinfalls. 
So technically, one might not have been legal, but it happened. All right. <laughs> Say so. <laughs> anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Moving on. Sure. Uh, backstage, we have Renee Young interviewing Owens and Zane. Mm-hmm. Uh, they ask if uh, Shane and Daniel Bryan being at ringside is going to affect their match at all. And uh, basically, Owen says it really doesn't matter because they're going to... Same thing's going to happen that happened last week. Yes, and uh, Sami Zayn will come up on top on uh, AJ Styles. Mm -hmm. And he did his little yep thing throughout the whole thing. Yeah, well, yeah, because Sami Zayn was answering with yeps. And then we got the much-anticipated Fashion Police vs. Bludgeon Brothers Part 3. Yes. Um, So this match never even got underway. It did not. Uh, They... Well, the fashion police got destroyed in the ring, got thrown right. Then they get thrown out of the ring, and then probably, yeah. and then the ascension came down, and then they got destroyed by the Bludgeon Brothers, mm-hmm. and that was it. Yeah, we kind of figured that uh, the ascension would kind of, I guess, have a feud with the Bludgeon Brothers after what, yeah, like, around now, uh, or at least would somewhat stand tall to yeah, them. But nope, no, so. don't. So who Don't knows? see what the point is in this. Thing. Yeah, it, it certainly doesn't make any sense yet. What are we gonna get them versus the Ascension next week? Uh, maybe, or they'll. Or is be it gonna like, be four on two? That it might come to that at some point. Yeah, I would be surprised. Um, but but yeah, yeah. And I mean, how much longer can they keep this up? I don't know. Like where do they go next? It's uh, just th- this is it's becoming apparent that they're not sure. Yeah, so. I, I guess they're just stalling. They're, they're it's basically booked at a week to week basis. It, oh yeah, that's that's the problem with that SmackDown seems to have. Yeah. Besides the main event picture, which it, eventually it's going to lead to something, but everything else it's just well, let's do a little of the same old same old that we did last week, and we'll do a little tweaking, and that's yeah, it. Pretty much. And hopefully we'll uh, figure out where we're going. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so we go backstage, and Xavier Woods is blindfolded. Yep, swinging a stick around. Yes, because he thinks that his New Year's gift, right? Weren't they yeah, giving him a I, gift? I, I don't know for... what the whole purpose was. They th- he thought it was a pinata, yeah. and then so he starts naming off a bunch of things, and then he guesses that it's pancakes that say Happy New Year or 2018 with a mm. candle in it. Yep. And... Um, so he goes to blow out the candle, and then Aiden English and Rusev come in, and Aiden English talks about Rusev Day, and then what does Rusev do? He uh, he says, "I'm gonna steal your wish, right?" Yeah. 2018, mm-hmm. and then he gets down and blows out the candle. Yep. And then he's, he's like, "He stole my wish." Yep. 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 Was not happy about it. No. Um. So up next, uh, we got Mojo Raleigh talking to the camera, mm-hmm. basically saying that uh. Next week, he's going to leave Zack Ryder in the past when he wins and moves on in the U.S. Championship mm-hmm. uh, tournament. Well, I mean, that's that's good that they at least, you know, I mean, granted, this had enough build but mm-hmm. because of their feud and yeah. the Rusev and uh, Rusev Day, I should say, and the New Day has had build for that match yeah. as well. So at least these these matches yeah. make sense. Mm-hmm. So they went in instead of it just yes. being like a random pairing. So. Yeah. Um, so that leads us into the actual uh, Aiden English versus Xavier Woods match. Mm-hmm. And I, they mentioned it on SmackDown that the finals of the U.S. title tournament will take place at the Royal Rumble. Yes. So that's another match mm-hmm. going on there. Yeah. Um, so before the match, normally Aiden English will sing about Rusev Day. Mm-hmm. But this time, Rusev took the mic from Aiden English and he sung about Aiden English. Yes. And he sung a song about how he should be the new U.S. champion. Yep. It was actually pretty funny. Yeah. No, it was good. Mm-hmm. Um, but decent match here. Oh, yeah. Um, not that much. I don't There's very little interference, right, no, from no, the no, outside? No, not really, no. Yeah. But you really wouldn't expect it too much from a match like this. Mm-hmm. And the winner of this match was going to face Jinder in the next round. Yeah. So you kind of had a feeling it was going to be Woods to yeah. begin with. So, mm-hmm. um, But yeah, inevitably, Xavier Woods wins with an elbow drop off the top rope. Yep. Um, it was actually a pretty good showing from in English. Yeah. So at least it, he didn't look bad or anything. No. And, you know, everybody still loves Rusev. And I guess we're under the impression that the reason why Rusev isn't in this tournament is because 
he's not going to win, so you don't want to make people annoyed for him to lose. Yeah, absolutely. So that was off keeping him out of it. That was my thinking completely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just like like Daniel Bryan in the Royal Rumble and stuff like that when he came back mm-hmm. and they wanted him to win and then he was gone and everybody yep. was mad and that was the end of it. Mm-hmm. It's true. Um, but yeah, so like you said, Woods won. Um, and next week we will get Mojo and Zach. So. Yeah, so they're stretching it out as much as possible. Yep. But it's fine, you know. Yeah. Instead of having it all take place and then wait a couple of weeks for the finals, it doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. So we go backstage, and uh, the welcoming committee is there with Dasha, and mm-hmm. they basically say that before <sighs> the Riot Squad, there was the welcoming committee, and they're just basically a cheap ripoff of them. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Yeah. This is all just killing time before yep. the Rumble. Mm-hmm. So. And this is leading to another six-woman tag match, mm-hmm. which has been going on for, what, post-WrestleMania? At oh, least every yeah, couple much. of weeks, there's been six-person tags. Yeah. This one had, uh, it was Tamina. Everybody but Lana. Yeah. <laughs> Tamina, Natalia, and Carmella, Carmella against Ruby, Sarah Logan, and uh, Liv Liv. Morgan. Yeah. Um, so that match happened. Yep. It, it was, happened. It was, you know, a women's tag team match at this point in time. Nothing yeah. Special. No, not really. Um, Sarah Logan ends up, uh, she pins... Tamina. She did pin Tamina? Yeah, Tamina went up to the top rope, and uh, Liv pushed her off, off the top yeah, rope. Yeah, she like, did a flip onto the apron. Not yeah. onto the apron, onto the mat. Yeah. It looked and, pretty rough of a landing. And then Logan hit like a, a handstand knee to the back of the head. It was yeah. an interesting move. Yeah, I don't think Kind of out of nowhere, it. didn't think it was going to be that significant. No, and then the match was over. That was that, yeah. Um, after the match, Ruby Riot grabs the microphone. Mm-hmm. And she starts rambling about how they're the reality because, like, dreams are fake or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and people, uh, they, I guess they hide their their ugliness with their fake smiles and stuff like that. Yeah, or, or whatever. Yeah. Um, so, but this was all basically to say that they were going to be in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, it, it was an odd, odd build to mm-hmm. that, but... So now, because Ruby announced herself last week, now Sarah and Liv are also going to be in it. Yep. Um, after that, Charlotte comes out, and she says that um, there's um, rea- or there's consequences to actions, and then she's like, "There's someone I'd like I'd like to introduce that'll be happy to <laughs> give uh, give you consequences." Mm-hmm. And then Naomi comes out. You were not very happy well, about because this. it doesn't make any sense because she was on TV <laughs> you, last week. You were week. just here last week. Yeah, and she was she's been part of this the whole time. Right. And now then, after that, the person who should have come out first, I would assume, Becky Lynch, who was actually returning and mm-hmm. hasn't been involved at all, no, came out. Yep. So and then the three of them come down. They beat up the Riot Squad. Riot Squad runs away, and that's the end of the segment. Yep. So now we have three stables. Yes. So that's something and uh so yeah i mean i could zero direction no that's a direction it's everybody's going in a different direction i guess that's true um yeah so maybe like you said we'll get a uh a, a nine-way match yes a triple threat <laughs> six or three, three team nonsense or or they'll have like a like a mini rumble oh, like no. a battle we'll royal three triple threats that's also possible yep Yep. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah. All right. After that, Corbin, after awkwardly staring at the uh, camera for, camera way, for too long. way too long, uh, announces that he's going to be in the Rumble, which made it seem like this was his first Rumble appearance because... Well, the way he was speaking, yeah. he said that the I Rumble was like over made the for ropes. him. Yeah. Um, and uh, obviously, we know that he was in the Rumble last year. He actually had a pretty good showing in the Rumble last yeah. year. Yeah. Um, but he, he enters officially the Royal Rumble yeah. match. It's, it's just such a difference watching him do a promo like this and then the ones he cut on, like, The Miz when it was through oh. social media and well, yeah, stuff like that. because there's it's, less, you know. I know, but it's so... Because then he wasn't sitting in front of 20 people. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just so telling with him when, you know. When he's comfortable and he's yeah, not comfortable. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right, so uh, that led us to our main event. Yeah. We have AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn. Yeah. With Kevin Owens, 
Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan all at ringside. Mm-hmm. Um, this was good for what it was. Oh, yeah. It, it, it did exactly what it was intended to do. It's it's true, and it set up something moving forward, mm-hmm. which has been a while since something like that's happened. Yep. Um, yeah. But, yeah, basically, at one point, Sami Zayn gets knocked out of the... Oh, no, AJ gets knocked out of the ring. Well, AJ went to go for the phenomenal forearm. Sami Zayn ducked, mm-hmm. and when Sami got back up, AJ pushed him, and I guess they... He hit the referee, and the referee tumbled out of the ring. No, I'm talking about, like, right before the first commercial. Oh, 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 oh. When, when the three of them kind of converged on the outside because oh, Owens oh, oh. was I going. I thought Owens just walked up to. I didn't think the referee got touched. No, I wasn't talking about oh, the referee. Oh, I thought you said the referee. No, I said AJ. Uh-huh. <laughs> AJ My got bad. knocked out of the ring. Owens walked towards him. Okay. Shane comes over and says, what are you doing? Very good. And and then AJ gets back into the ring, and then there's a whole there's a whole kerfuffle, mm-hmm. um, and then it cuts the commercial. What you're talking about happened at, towards the end of the match. Oh, okay. Yeah, where um, the referee gets knocked out of the ring. Yes. And Kevin Owens is trying to be a good citizen and ask him if he's all right <laughs> as he's standing in his way. <laughs> yeah, and, and so AJ hits the phenomenal forearm, I believe, on uh, Sami Zayn. Or I thought he just rolled him up. He had him like th- a crucifix roll up. I thought yeah. he hit him with it. Um, but yeah, Owens is preventing the ref to get into the ring. Um, and the ref finally gets into the ring mm-hmm. and only gets a two count. Yep. Uh, Shane comes over and says, what are you doing? He goes to the ref. He said, kick him out. Uh, the ref kicks him out. And then Dan Bryan gets on the mic, says, well, if you're going to kick out Owens, then you don't need to be here either. True. The only reason he was there was because Owens was there. So I guess with the distraction, Kevin Owens decided to jump on the apron. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and then uh, AJ knocks him off, and then he gets hit with the Huluva kick from Sami Zayn. And then uh, Sami pins AJ. And that's that. Yep. Um, Two clean losses, technically, for AJ. Yeah, relatively speaking. Yeah. Um, and then AJ grabs the microphone, and he says he's kind of sick of all the, the childish antics going mm-hmm. on between the four of them. Um, and he's, he says, uh, you might as well put me in a handicap match against the two of them. Getting screwed anyway. Yeah. And then Daniel Bryan goes, oh, that's a great idea. We should do that at the Royal Rumble. So he said he set a match between Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and AJ Styles for the, uh, the WWE Championship. So AJ now has to face two people. Yep. So I'm guessing it's just the thought that Sammy and Kevin are not going to be able to work on the same page and end up fighting amongst themselves. Uh, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be a stipulation added to this match. Yeah. Because they're still a few weeks away. But we'll see. That's all you got? Uh, yeah, there's nothing else to speculate. <laughs> it really. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cut and dry. Yeah. Also, there's kind of a, it's a head scratcher of a, an episode. Like, well, or no, just th- <laughs> that. Because, like, why would they book a handicap match for the title? Well, I think that's the question you're supposed to be asking yourself, and that's what you're going to tune in next time to see why they would do it. I guess so. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I Whatever. know why I'm going to tune in. Because you know. con- contractually obligated. Yes, to, exactly. Just like they are to put on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's true. So, uh, yeah, that was our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>